Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming, something to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with finally a new update for Supernova, the Baron's Root. So the Baron's Root finally has some uh, substantial amount of content added to it, and apparently the heroes are wearing Halloween costumes, and that sounds really silly. I can't wait to see it. But anyway guys, yes, Supernova is back with style, baby. Let's jump right into the Baron's Root. Alright, please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes for entertaining. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Here's the Baron's perspective. The Baron in black was nothing like what I expected. I'm not just talking about his general hostility. The way he spoke didn't seem particularly superheroic, I guess. But if Unbound wants me to do this, do this so strongly, and if the Baron obviously doesn't, maybe it's worth hearing his thoughts on my situation as well. For the sake of, I don't know, balance or something. Besides, from what I gathered, he and Templar were close. His insight could be just what I need to make up my mind. Sorry, guys, if you hear that, it's my cat being a nutcase. He may not like me or the idea of me inheriting his power, but maybe he'll look at me differently after we speak a little more. Uh, yep, there we go, little horns. That's adorable, and Nick's got little devil horns. Gil, is the Baron here by any chance? Not at the moment, Nick. Would you like me to alert you if he arrives? Please do. I have noted your request. There's not much to do for me, but wait. Fortunately, my phone was charged when I found it last night. Check in, I check in with Lucas again. He asked about calling again, but I turned him down with the same excuse I gave last time. Telling him that I'm bored out of my mind and eager to be back in college seems, seems to amuse him, and he doesn't question me much further. After exchanging several messages, I turned to, I turned to browsing the internet. Still nothing on Templar or what happened in Magnolia Hills. I find some old videos of Templar fighting various supervillains. Some of those fights are brutal. It doesn't fill me with confidence. This is the kind of stuff I should expect. This is the kind of stuff I should expect if I choose this path. At least I'll get to fly, I guess. I stand up and stretch, then walk to the middle of the room. I raise the arm with the I raise the arm with the bracelet. Now, how do I summon the armor? I try concentrating. Nothing happens. I conjure the image of the glowing armor as I saw it in my mind. Still nothing. Armor. Nope. Armor, please. Yet again. Nope. Hmm, I guess this is another question I need to ask. After pacing around the room for a bit, I decide to lie back down on the bed and doze off. Gil's droning voice wakes me up soon afterwards. The Baron is in the meeting room now, Nick. Do you wish me to guide you there? Yes! No, that was quick. Ah! It's adorable. He's got a little bow tie. It's cute. <laughs> in the meeting room, the Baron is speaking with Nisus. They both turn to me when I enter. And like the Baron, Nisus is no longer masked. Turns out he's quite a handsome Cor Corsic fox. He smiles at me. Afternoon, Nick. You want to chat? Hey! I wave at them both. The Baron gives an indifferent shrug. Uh, I was wondering if I could speak with you, Baron. Why? I... guess... Spit it out, I don't have all day. I just have some questions. It won't take long. Nisus is looking between us, his brows furrowed before standing up and fixing the Baron with a serious gaze. I have some matters to attend to. Play nice. The Baron snorts as Nisus leaves with one last concerned glance directed at me. Seeing as no invitation to sit is forthcoming, I stand there awkward as hell. Well? Unbound said that I should decide what to do with the responsibility I seem to have inherited. Did she now? And what is your intention? He sounds less heated than yesterday, at the very least. Unbound insists that I should assume the mantle of Templar, but I... I was hoping to hear what you think I should do. You already know what I think you should do. You're wasting my time. Fuck it, I'm just gonna sit. I take the same spot as last time. I'm guessing that's where Templar used to sit. The Baron is watching my every movement. That's why I thought I should speak with you. I know you dislike me, but I didn't want this to happen. Templar did. I don't dislike you. In fact, I barely give a shit about you. I dislike the fact that you have something that doesn't belong to you. Templar gave it to me. So you say. I cross my arms, beginning to feel irritated. So you think I should just ignore that what Templar said to me? Some of his last words and give this up? If what you say is true, Templar was on Death's doorstep when he was speaking with you. Likely as shit, likely as shit, he wasn't lucid enough to know what he was saying or doing. No. That was not the case at all. I could see it in the Badger's eyes. What happens if I decide that I'm not going to keep the bracelet? I will take it to someone who can make real use of it. Doesn't me, doesn't me having it mean I'm worthy? Quit asking idiotic questions. You wouldn't know what to do with it.
Alright, but what if the person you have in mind isn't? Will the bracelet just sit there until you find someone? Okay, now I'm starting to dislike you. The feeling might be mutual. If it doesn't work, we know where to look we know where to look for you. Something tells me that giving it up now would make me unworthy of it in the future. Do you really think a person who rejects their responsibility would be worthy of Templar's legacy? The Baron seems to consider what I say before nodding. Sure, why not? What's your point? I lean back into the chair, staring at the table. Something in my mind seems to click. As the silence stretches, the Baron seems to realize it too. Oh, so you had already decided. I sigh, then give a faint smile. Yeah, I suppose I had. Then why are you wasting my time? I guess I was wondering if you'd be able to talk me out of it. But if I rejected it, that would just be proof that I'm unworthy, right? The Baron moves as if to take off his clockwork helmet, but his paw pauses when it reaches the part that conceals his muzzle. Abruptly, he stands up. Follow me! I hesitate, then go after him. He stalks down the hallway, then taps a panel on the opposite wall. It slides open, revealing what looks to be a narrow elevator. He lets me go through first. Where are we going? To continue our little chat. I haven't quite given up on talking you out of it. The wall slides back into place, and the smooth motion of the elevator takes us down. We emerge into a similar hallway, except this one is much longer and has several and has several circular doors lining it. The Baron strides ahead and turns into the third door on the left. The metal screen covering it slides open to let us through. It's a rectangular room, white and very empty. The Baron is standing in the middle, turning to he turns to face me. Project the armor. Why? Just fucking do it. I don't know how. He throws aside his cane and shrugs. Tough luck. It is when he balls his balls his paws into fists and stalks towards me that I realize what is happening. Wait a minute! He doesn't let me finish. His fist lands in my gut and I stumble backwards, clutching my stomach in pain. The Baron is not done. He continues to rain blows on me, even as I stagger around the room, making feeble attempts to deflect. My defenses are systematically dismantled. He doesn't hesitate to hit my already bruised and abused torso. I'm hit in the face and the stomach and the sides. And he, smashes up, he smashes down a fist on my back when I hunch over to hide my snout. My feet are swept from under me and I drop with a loud thud, feeling the air rush out of my lungs. See? Who the fuck cares whether you're worthy or unworthy? When you can't do shit with what you've been given. You think the armor made you think the armor made Templar who he was? So how do you feel about your decision now? He retreats, presumably to let me respond. For several long moments I just lie there, groaning. The force behind his blows wasn't even close to what happened to me in the condo, but I'm still in a shit ton of pain. I wanna curl up. But I know that's but I know that's what he wants, so I grip my teeth and force myself off the floor. I'm wobbly on my feet, but I raise up my fists anyway. I didn't think it would be easy. Not easy, huh? He starts advancing at me again, but freezes and turns when, he, when we both hear a new voice. What do you think you're doing? What's different about her? Her outfit looks a little different. Um. Oh, she's got vampire teeth. <laughs> Cute. Unbound is standing there, and what little I see of her muzzle is shaking with fury. She forces each word through clenched teeth. The Baron smoothens his suit as he responds. Training the newcomer. You should be ready for combat, no? For... She turns to face me. Nick? With my breath still heavy, I nod at her. Does this mean you've decided? Yes, I'm doing what Templar asked of me. I glare at the Baron. Whatever it takes. Very well. We'll discuss this as a team. And we will worry about training later. The last part is obviously directed at the Baron. He picks up his cane and strides past Unbound into the hallway without another word. Are you alright, Nick? Hell no. Yes, Unbound. Thank you. Alright. Get some rest then. Gil will call you for the meeting. So if he was a normal, if he was just a normal person without the bracelet, would that have mean have Baron would have broken his bones with those hits? Interesting. Because I know the bracelet makes you, what makes you like a lot more resilient. Understood. As I'm leaving, she puts a paw on my shoulder. I'm glad you didn't shy away from your duty. That being said, are you sure you don't want to lean on, lean on me until you get back to bed? Would be nice. I'm fine, really, but thank you. We head toward the elevator together, and I managed, to, I managed a decent enough job at hiding that I'm in a fair bit of pain. It's fine. It'll pass. I get a breather while the team assembles for another meeting about me. I'm very sore from the beating I got from the Baron, but I'll manage. To my relief, I don't have to wait, lo wait too long. Everyone is already in their seats. Vince gives me two thumbs up when I enter, while Nisus merely nods at me. The Baron and Unbound, as always, are harder to read. Nisus' expression, however, shifts to confusion, then fury once I'm seated. He rounds on the Baron, his hackles raised. 
What. The. Hell. The Baron shrugs indifferently. I gave the rookie some combat pointers. Nisa slams his palms down on the table as he leaps to his feet. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nisus, it's fine. It's not fun. Nisus, please sit down. We have more important matters to discuss. Fox works his jaw a couple more moments before he relents, although he continues to glower at the Baron. As you all know, Nick has decided to keep the bracelet. As such, he will assume the persona of Templar. Why? Shouldn't we call him Squire or Stable Boy or something more appropriate to his station and experience? I can't tell if the Baron is mocking me or if he's serious. Part of me wants to object to what I'm bound to say as well, even if I'm not, I'm not about to suggest other demeaning aliases for myself. After all, I am not Templar, voice with bracelet or not. This is a matter of practicality. It would be prudent for the Sentinels to keep the truth of Templar's demise a secret. A <laughs> knife through the head. Classic. But really? Nisa sits back in his chair, scratching his chin. Makes sense. We won't want to advertise that we've been weakened. Precisely. Moreover, we have very few leads on the killer. The news that he failed in his attack on Templar may drive him out of hiding. Oh. I guess I'm going to be bait. At least I'll have a shiny new set of armor to protect me. I stifle my nervous laugh. Shouldn't the people of Nova be allowed to mourn their fallen hero? There's, a, there's an uncomfortable silence. As much as I'd like for that to be the case, I do think that's not our best option right now. The Baron huffs, but doesn't argue any further. So I'm just supposed to pretend that I'm Templar. The actual Templar. For the moment, Nick, you're supposed to stay out of sight. Which brings us to our next topic. Nick, Templar, requires training. That's an understatement. I can't even summon the armor right now. I may have been in some scraps, but I'm not a fighter. And I have no idea how to handle a weapon of any kind. In short, I'm a mess. It'd be for the best if one of us took over said training. Or, more precisely, one of you three. There are matters that demand far too much of my attention. Vince raises his hand as, as if he's sitting in class. It's kind of adorable. I can do it. Wouldn't it be better if we spread? Wouldn't it be better if we spread the duty around between all of us? That would put undue strain on Nick. It is easier to assign him one mentor. Oh wait, he's holding a knife too. Okay. I'll do respect and all that, champ. But I think someone a little more experienced should handle the training. Nisa, since you have buddied up to the rookie, why not take him under your wing? I don't think that's a good idea. I'm surprised at the reluctance. Nisa seems like he would make an excellent mentor to me. Hey, I may be the youngest, but that's a good thing, right? I went through the same things as Nick and not that long ago myself. I can help him. I believe the Baron is right, Super Fang. The mentor role is not to be taken lightly. Which is why I think you should do it, Baron. Wait, what? Is that something I would want? You're the most experienced. Perhaps more importantly, you knew Templar best. Nick needs that. As Sterling is wiping the sun off the rookie's nose would be, I'm sure I have much better things to do with my time. But one of the youngsters handle it. Nisa, stop being stubborn. The fox crosses his arms and averts his gaze. If I have to, I could. You don't have to! I'm telling you guys, I can train Nick! I've been in this for four years now, I'm not new! I can tell that this argument might be becoming circular. Perhaps I should weigh my, um, my, weigh my own opinion. Although I'm not even sure myself. What, are they, what they're all saying makes sense. I like Vince, he seems like a great guy and he's eager to help me out. But he's just two years older, and even if he got his own powers earlier than I did, a more experienced mentor might be better for me. Nisus has made it clear that he doesn't want to mentor me. And to be honest, that hurts a little. I thought he liked me. He did say he's going to do it if he needs to, and he's more experienced than Super Fang while not being an asshole like that bet, like the Baron. Speaking of which, the Baron. The Baron scares me a little. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't actually hurt me. Or, well, actually, actually hurt me. But he sure seems to dislike having me around. Would it be a good idea to entrust myself into his paws? On the other hand, he is the most experienced of the three, and if he was that close with Templar, it might be worth spending time around him. The Sentinels keep talking over each other as I contemplate my options. Who should I go with? We're going the Baron in black. I peer at the Baron with trepidation. This makes sense, right? I am Templar. The team has accepted it. Even the Baron hasn't argued otherwise today. There's no way he'd sabotage me or anything. Plus, if anything goes wrong, I can always go to the others for advice, or help. What Unbound said makes sense. I think the Baron should mentor me. Everyone regards me with obvious surprise. Ha! <laughs> You're a funeral. Ugh, shut up! Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. The Baron will do his best. Uh, 
so it almost sounds like a threat directed at the Baron. Yeah, yeah, I'm not about to get the kid killed. Fine, I'll do my best. Just don't expect me to be gentle about it. I gulp and nod. Very well, so be it. Nick, rest assured that you are in good hands. But I'll reiterate that, that for now, your task is to lay low until you get the hang of your newfound strength. Sure, yeah, I understand. I glance down at the bracelet. Is there anything I can do on my own, though? I don't have a good grasp of my, uh, powers. I tried to summon the armor, but nothing happened. Baron? The Baron taps his fingers on the table. Can't help there. You'll have to figure that out on your own. As for what the bracelet can do, you have already seen most of it. The armor is extraordinarily resilient, and the mace is no joke, either. You will be able to fly, although not, not indefinitely like some. Should the armor be damaged, the bracelet will repair it over some time. It will also repair your body to an extent. I frown at that, raising a hand to my chest. Yes, you might have noticed that you recovered faster than you would have under normal circumstances. Now, before you do anything stupid with that information, know that it will not save you from mortal wounds. It accelerates what your body can do on its own. Nothing more. I will keep that in mind. Thanks. Just make sure nobody can see you when you summon the armor. Hell, don't even try unless one, one of us is around. Huh, well, I doubt I'll follow this last bit of advice, but I nod along anyway. With that settled, we have one more urgent matter to discuss, that being the identity of Templar's murderer. Not much to say there, unless one of you has discovered something new. Nobody I even nobody I've contacted has heard of a canine supervillain in black with shiny green fists, including Greg. Who, by the way, has been riding my ass about the new Templar's identity? You haven't told him yet? Didn't we just talk about how we wouldn't? Like that ever stops you? And Bound gives both a warning look accompanied by a, by a chagrined sigh. I suppose Gregory should be informed. It'll be impossible to avoid at the funeral. If you say so. I have no idea who this Greg person might be. Another superhero, maybe? But something else catches my attention. When's the funeral? Monday. I feel a lump forming in my throat. I'd like to come. Why? You didn't even know him. He just ignores the Baron. If you want to, Nick, I see no problem with that. I'm sure you want to pay your respects. Yeah, thanks. I can tell the Baron is unhappy, but before he can argue, Unbound brings the conversation around to the previous topic. Regardless of the wolf's identity, what is curious to me is how Templar came across him. <coughs> and why he didn't call for backup sooner. <sighs> then shuffles in his chair, his ears splayed back. As I told you, nothing on the recordings from the day suggests anything was amiss until he left the base. Indeed, my own time getting, going over them showed, showed as much. One second, guys. There we go. For all we know, Templar tried to stop him from some criminal activity, and it escalated from there. I believe that to be likely, but I could find no incidents from that afternoon worth our attention. So we have nothing, then? It appears so. I don't have anything to offer to this discussion. The four of them have heard all I know, and I've described Templar's killer in as much detail as I could. Either way, I'll talk with Greg again. I just hope I can keep the conversation with him brief. You know how he is. Jesus chuckles. We appreciate your sacrifice. You better. For the first time since I've met them, they sound they sound friendly with each other. Well, I guess they are teammates after all. Very well. Keep us updated, Baron. As for you, Dick, you should be good to return to your res residence tomorrow. I perk up a little at hearing that. I won't, I won't deny that finding myself in the Sentinel's hideout has been thrilling in its own way, but I'm eager to return to my own bed. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. We have officially chosen the Baron as our mentor. Oh boy, he's gonna beat us into shape, I guess. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye